seventeen hundred dollars. Sixteen hundred dollars. Nineteen hundred dollars. Eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, if you're anywhere you're new here to the whole gaming scene, or you just don't really keep up with news that much, but um, just the amount of PlayStation 5s that I have seen like on eBay, these people have them st like stacks, like literal stacks, maybe like an inventory of a store pretty much of PlayStation 5s that they're inflating the price of. And it's, it's very, it's crazy how, cr how bad it's gotten, because this isn't just for the PlayStation 5, this is for the Xbox Series X, S, graphics cards, CPU, the new Ryzen CPUs that came out, this is crazy, and it feels like the demand is so high for like gaming consoles and PC parts, especially nowadays, because, you know, pandemic is screwing up everything everywhere but on top of this you have these people that are buying up all these consoles that ones that people it's it would explain why nobody has gotten a playstation 5 next gen consoles well anything really all the things i've listed and um you know you see these pictures of all these dudes having all these ps5s and like people are buying this and I just want to say, why are you buying these consoles? Granted, I know you want a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox or a new graphics card, but it's just not right to buy it at that price. It's encouraging the scalpers even more. And it's real crazy because, like, it, you know you're going to have people out there that's going to buy these consoles at these inflated prices. And then the only way to combat this is just to not buy from the scalpers you don't care how much money you got you know how rich you are you're encouraging something that a lot of people can't even get their hands on stuff graphics cards consoles cpus all that stuff and and then you hearing about people these scalpers getting robbed and that's a whole nother topic in itself even though robbing somebody isn't right it's you know it's becoming dangerous for the scalpers as well so you can imagine if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox or I wouldn't say a new graphic I wouldn't say you pro would probably get robbed for a new graphics card because you know you could put the graphics card on your computer and you know that's about the end of it but a console yeah um, you can get robbed for that now well, that's always really been the case whenever, you know, last gen, it wasn't really any crazy stories. There was like a few stories where somebody bought something off of eBay and it had like a rock in it and a PS4 box. That was the worst I've heard what happened when the PS4 came out. But this, the scalping situation is honestly out of hand. I feel like back then when the PS4 and the Xbox One came out, um... It felt like a lot of people got them at launch. Like, not a lot, a lot of people, but a good amount of people had them. And there was instances where I was able to find those consoles as well. But see, the thing is, gaming has increased because everybody's staying at home now. And as well, the scalpers are buying up the PlayStation. So it's, kind of, it's really, really hard. Like, literally, as soon as the stock goes in at any of these online stores, the scalpers just scoop them all up. And it, ma it makes it worse because all these stores are doing it all online because they can't do it because of this this pandemic and these vi this virus going on. So they're not selling the consoles, like, in stores. So these scalpers are legit just taking advantage of the situation. And like I said, the best way you can stop this is by not buying the consoles, not giving in to these ridiculously high prices. I mean, <laughs> it makes me kind of feel bad that, you know, I have my PlayStation 5. I legit st stood up until like 4 in the morning of when that pre-order first started. It, it was the most weirdest thing ever. Like, 
the site every site I tried to get the PlayStation 5 on it crashed it crashed and it wasn't just because of the people it was because these people are having bots spam buying all of the stock and it's real crazy like it's it's even hard for me to believe that I have my PlayStation 5 and it makes me kind of feel bad for people who actually want to get a PlayStation 5 and buy it at the right price it's supposed to be bought from so it's it's honestly crazy. Lesson of the day is probably don't encourage scalping. Don't buy from these scummy people. Granted, I know you want a next Xbox, PlayStation, or PC part, but just don't give in. Just, just don't. It's 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 not worth it. It supports the scalping, but then again, scalping has been around for a long time. My, my my mother was telling me about people used to be scalping um, tickets back in the day. So it's not really surprising, you know. People are going to get stuff and then they're going to sell it at inflated prices. The demand is there. Somebody's going to buy it. That's just, that's just about it, really. I mean, it's crazy. This... You would have thought you get screwed over by something this year. Well, maybe you got screwed over because you couldn't get a PlayStation 5 or Xbox or PC parts that came out this year. I managed to miss out on a 3080 because of the bot, so yeah, that, that's 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 all well and good. But anyway, um, thank you all for watching the video. If you agree with me, even in the slightest, make sure you like the video like to get the channel out there and also follow my twitch stream i will be streaming uh destiny 2 and maybe some call of duty this weekend saturday and sunday eastern standard time 1 p.m or 8 p.m so anyway thank you all for watching uh stay safe out there and uh don't buy from scalpers buy from retail if you can peace